Today's video is about one of the first female-led guitars in rock and roll. This musician is most notable for her work in Bo Diddley's backing band, for which she earned the affectionate and appropriate nickname Lady Bo. However, her musical resume is much longer, boasting stints as a doo-wop singer and an R&B and soul band leader. The centerpiece of today's video is all about one of the pioneers of rock, Peggy Jones. Now before we start, let's be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to be sure you won't miss out any more content. Now, without further ado, let's cue that intro. Peggy Jones was born on July 19, 1940 in Harlem, New York City. She grew up in the Sugar Hill neighborhood and attended the High School of Performing Arts, where she received training in opera and tap dance. She was utterly engrossed with music from an early age, and at the age of 15, she bought her first guitar. She had a brief stay with the Bop Corps, a local doo-wop group that broke up in 1957, after a fortuitous encounter with Bo Diddley, who was impressed by a girl carrying a guitar case, the girl received an invitation to become a singer and guitarist in Diddley's band. She recorded with him from 1957 to 1961 or 1963, appearing on singles including Hey Bo Diddley. Road Runner. I'm a Bo Diddley's a gunslinger. And the instrumental Aztec. Which she wrote and played all the guitar parts. However, throughout her career, Peggy Jones always strived to be an independent artist and was involved in an R&B band known as The Jewels, among other various names. Throughout her time with Diddley, Jones maintained the separate career she had begun independently as a songwriter, session musician, and band leader. She led her own band, The Jewels, also known as The Fabulous Jewels. Lady Bo and the Family Jewels, and various other names, but not to be confused with the Washington DC group, The Jewels, which became a top R&B band on the New York and Boston East Coast club scene in the 60s and 70s. She eventually left Diddley's band to concentrate on The Jewels and other activities. She was replaced with another female guitarist, Norma Jean Walford. Jones played guitar on Les Cooper's 1962 instrumental, Wiggle Wobble, and percussion on a 1967 hit. San Francisco Nights by Eric Burden and the Animals. She also made appearances on other recordings and later in her career she backed. James Brown and Sam and Dave. In 1970, she rejoined Bo Diddley's band, bringing the jewels with her. Throughout the 21st century, Jones remained musically active. Jones made herself a rare case as she was known for playing a rolling guitar synthesizer, an experimental instrument not typically heard in rhythm and blues music. Many assumed that Lady Bo and Bo Diddley were a couple, but that was not the case. She was married to the band's bass player, Wally Malone. Malone lived in the mountains of Western Pennsylvania when he first met Jones in a New York club in the 1960s. Later, Jones invited Malone into her band in 1968 and got married. On September 16, 2015, Peggy Jones passed away at the age of 75, leaving behind her husband. Malone took to Facebook where he announced his wife's death saying, quote, today is one of the saddest days of my life. My wife and partner of 47 years has been called up to that great rock and roll band in the heavens to be reunited with Bo Diddley, Jerome Green, and Clifton James. The last hour and a quarter I spent by her side and the last thing I said to her was the quote above regarding Diddley and band. The other thing I added at the end of it is that band doesn't have a bass player and for them to please hold that seat 
until it is my time to join. The incredible part of this is immediately after saying this to her, there was a quick sound that came from her and right then her heart stopped beating. Many of you know about the Bo Diddley connection, but in case not, my wife's professional stage name is Lady Bo. Now, before we go, I have a few questions for you all. Were you familiar with Lady Bo? Also, what are some documentaries you would like to see in the future?